Hi, this is Kanika Chetta Gupta, and I'm the founder and host of That Total Mom Sense. And today I am joined by Sarah Dorset, who's the CEO of Nanit. And together we're bringing you Milestones with Nanit. <music> You may think that the bedroom is where the magic happens, but it's actually the crib, right? Agree. Yes, couldn't agree more. <laughs> I wanted to actually share a, a quote by Walt Disney. The magic is as wide as a smile and as narrow as a wink, loud as laughter and quiet as a tear, tall as a tail and deep as emotion, so strong it can lift the spirit, so gentle it can touch the heart. It is the magic that begins the happily ever after. And that truly is a parent's journey in seeing their child grow up before their eyes. So tell us how Nanit helps us capture magic. Well, I love that you used a quote by Walt Disney because a lot of times we talk about our brand kind of in that in that Disney way, that it's such an experience and we want we would love to create an experience much like Disney has for the family when it comes to entertainment and the messages. But for us, it's really about giving more information to parents and taking away the anxiety mm. in the crib. All of the products and all of the ways that the cribs are talk, talked about are always make it safe, make it safe, make it safe. And while we know that is incredibly important, we've heard that a lot. Yeah. So we thought, why not change that up a little bit? Why not make Nanit and the crib a really special place? Because it truly is. The more that we saw how babies were developing, how parents were, were understanding the data that they received about their baby, what was happening and how much they fell in love with learning about their baby and how special it was, we would hear from parents. They would tell us it's magic. <laughs> and when you really think about what happens in that crib, you know, that's completely uninterrupted time. You know, that's when a baby is working things out and, you know, we have heat maps that we've talked about where parents can see where baby moves around just from kind of the heat in the crib so where the you know where the actual baby is is where the heat is traveling around the crib and and those movements oftentimes are moments when baby is developing but sort of subconsciously in their sleep like that's where they're kind of processing all of that great information all those things they've learned and sort of absorbed throughout the day because they're such little sponges and they're working it all out in the yeah. crib and then it's giving all of that back so for us it's not a scary place it is an incredible place where magic is really happening um, for your baby that's so great any magical moments that you've experienced um, in your life as a mom of three that you could share with us? Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like every single day is a bit magical. Um, overall, the moments for me that are so special are often when I notice my child do something that I, I wouldn't have expected them to do or to say something that is just so profound, <laughs> um, you know, to, to recognize. Um, I remember I used to tell my children, I read somewhere that, um, and I don't even know, I couldn't even quote you where I read it, that um, that children need touch. They need to be touched and loved. Yeah. They need that, that physical interaction. They really need it. And you could hug them once or twice a day and they would, they don't get that, that love and that, that kind of development. But if you hug them at least 12 times a day, I don't know where I read this, oh, wow. 12 times a day, then, um, you would, you would, um, then they would, they would grow. They would thrive. If, I don't know where I read this. So I told my kids that I said, we need to do 12 hugs because then your heart will grow. And I remember my son saying to me one day, mom, and it was so, I think he was five years old. He said, mom, what if you die? And I said, what do you mean? What if I die? I'm not going to die. And he said, who's going to give me hugs? Aww. and make my heart grow <laughs> and I thought oh my gosh you know yeah. he's thinking about these things so right. that to me was a totally magical moment you know when you just sat and you thought wow he really he really cares about this little thing that I just said and, her, and it all made sense to him and he didn't know what would you know he's questioning what would happen if if he didn't you know if he didn't have if those didn't hugs have it, yeah, and they used to come up and give me 12 big hugs like all at once you know Aww. just to just to get it over with almost right <laughs> um, but it, it meant something to them so kind of connecting and how they interpret information to me is, is magic every day. It's it's Disney. That's you know? so sweet. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.